Diwali Passport, brought to you by Chatak Food Products and Anan Brand Wax Deers. When it comes to Pira and Ladu, I just use Chatak's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. It's a combination of traditional ingredients in one pack. I don't spend all that time preparing different ingredients like ma. Three quarter of the work is done. So now I can make fresh, delicious Pira and Ladu in about 15 minutes with the convenience of Chatak's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. Now Ma's Kitchen is a Chata Kitchen. Now available, Gulab Jamun Instant Mitai Mix. Lighting up for Diwali just got simple with the easy-to-use Anand brand wax deers. They're scientifically engineered to last longer, burn brighter, and keep on lighting. Anand brand wax deers do not require any prepping or filling and has less spillage and cleanup. These deers are recommended for outdoor use and can withstand light wind and rain. Plus, they're eco-friendly. Redeem your use cases for cash back. So put some green innovation into your Diwali celebrations with with Anand Brand Wax Deers. The Festival of Lights glows once again in many nations. Let's take a trip and find the interesting variations. Some are quiet and simple, and others filled with family and friends. Join us now for Diwali Passport on WESN. On today's episode of Diwali Passport, we're off to East Asia to pay a visit to the country that's famous for kimchi, K-pop, Samsung, and Hyundai. Welcome to South Korea. South Korea occupies the southern portion of the 750-mile long Korean peninsula, and for a small country, its population is relatively big. With almost 52 million, there are approximately 1,294 citizens for every square mile here. Interestingly, in this country where freedom of religion is constitutionally guaranteed, more than half of the population is not affiliated to any religion. Some identify as Protestant Christians, then Buddhists, and others are Catholic. Today, around 3.6% of people living in Korea are of foreign origin, and India plays a key role in the development of multicultural Korea. This has naturally brought with it Indian culture to the country, and Diwali has grown in popularity over the years. There are approximately 25,000 Indians in South Korea, most of whom are Hindus. And although the festival was once only celebrated in Hindu homes, due to the number of Indian nationals immigrating to the country, it's now being celebrated in a much larger way. In fact, there are a number of Hindu temples in the Seoul region, like the Sri Radha Shamsundar Mandir and the Sri Sri Radha Krishna Temple, located on Seoul's outskirts. Like in other countries, some devotees would visit their temples for Diwali Puja. And although here, there is the absence of huge crowds and magnificent fireworks displays, some families have their private celebrations at home and invite their Korean friends who learn about the customs and enjoy the food. Some Diwali events here are staged by various campuses, such as the Indian Students Association at Seoul's National University, where their program includes singing, dancing, dramatizations, and food. The Indian students of the Chonam National University in Guangzhou would organize a simple cultural program with games and entertainment to feel the joy of the season. And at the Xinhua Middle School, there's even a painting competition with Ranguli designs along with cultural performances for the students in collaboration with the Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center in Seoul. And then, of course, there are some students who prefer to arrange their own Bollywood dance parties to really have a blast for Diwali. Just a note here, Diwali is not the only festival in Korea with Indian roots. Korean people celebrate the Indian-born Gautama Buddha's birthday by hanging paper lotus-shaped lanterns across their homes and in the streets. This celebration also attracts a large number of people across cultures and culminates with an impressive lantern parade each year in Seoul, once again celebrating with the triumph of light. I'm Shanji, and this is where we depart South Korea and our brief look at the Wali celebrations here. 
We'll see you soon on another episode of WESN's Diwali Passport. When it comes to Pira and Ladu, I just use Chatak's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. It's a combination of traditional ingredients in one pack. I don't spend all that time preparing different ingredients like ma. Three quarter of the work is done. So now I can make fresh, delicious Pira and Ladu in about 15 minutes with the convenience of Chatak's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. Now Ma's Kitchen is a Chata Kitchen. Now available, Gulab Jamun Instant Mitai Mix. Lighting up for Diwali just got simple with the easy-to-use Anand brand wax deers. They're scientifically engineered to last longer, burn brighter, and keep on lighting. Anand brand wax deers do not require any prepping or filling and has less spillage and cleanup. These deers are recommended for outdoor use and can withstand light wind and rain. Plus, they're eco-friendly. Redeem your use cases for cash back. So put some green innovation into your Diwali celebrations with Anand Brand Wax Deals. Diwali Passport, brought to you by Chatak Food Products and Anand Brand Wax Deals.